For Lord, you have heard us say to each other, I will remember you in my prayers. That expression brings comfort to our hearts as we feel the support of others and the healing presence of your Spirit. And so we remember the Apostle Paul, who told the church at Ephesus that he remembered them in his prayers. He gave thanks for them and prayed that they might have wisdom from above. So today, O oh God of hospitality, we give thanks for the gift of hospitality that David and Lois have provided. May we enjoy the hospitality of your home and the good fellowship that we share. We also give thanks for the fellowship of our congregation, made possible by a long line of those who are no longer with us, but whose legacy of faith, hope, love, and resources make our life together possible today. We will also give thanks to the universal God for the church spread throughout the earth, for acts of mercy and efforts to foster goodwill among people, no matter their ethnicity, religion, or political postures. May the spirit of loving kindness flow into the world of hurt and pain, and give comfort and reconciliation to all. So with thankful hearts, O gracious God, we pray that holy wisdom may infuse the lives and efforts of all Christians, all followers of Christ, so that patience will replace harsh and hasty actions and words, and may the wisdom from above win a place in our hearts, so that the wisdom of the world may pale as an option for our thoughts and actions. And thus, may the wisdom of Jesus, who said that you make the rain fall on the just and on the unjust, sink deeply into our souls, so that we may be a people who incarnate the gospel in word and deed. And now, O compassionate God, be present to all those who have special needs this day, whether they be of sickness, strained relationships, personal struggles, complex circumstances, or because they have no one else to pray for them. May they be lifted up, because we remember them in our prayers, through the same Jesus Christ our Lord, who taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us, and lead us not into 